So anyway, what was I saying? <laughs> there should be somebody recording. Yeah, all the time. times. Like, this is literally all time. times. Oh, I should take my phone out. Right? You want this drink over here or what? No, I mean, what would you like me to do with it? You have a table somewhere for me to put it? I, I can give you a table. Yes, that's my phone. Okay. Potatoes. You don't want? I want a table. Calling somebody potatoes huh? for me. I want a table. Yeah. Here you go. What's that? Right here, table. Th that's the table. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, okay. I ain't holding it either. You better not. Ask your slave or your servant. Hmm. <coughs> We're going back there, right? <laughs> yeah, a little too early in the week for that. Chill out, Masa. <laughs> Masa. Uh, all right, so you want to kick this shit off? We got this. What season, episode is it? Uh, season 4, episode 11, I believe? Or 12. Yeah, 11. Ready? Oh, I don't I'm know. I'm going to be holding. Here, here, here. You're not going to hold that big ass cup? No. Mm -hmm. All right, ready? <laughs> ah. I'm asking you, are you ready? Are you yeah, building the camera? Here, are you season 4, episode 11. Every Thursday on a Thursday, my guy, my that's, other guy. That's your energy? No, this, no. this, is, this is what we're coming with? No, because he usually interrupts and goes in. That's says because again, you be man so. whack doing it. Like, well, <laughs> my guy. Where the energy at? Y'all don't believe you. I mean, could you just, both of you just really busted my balls to like no end. So now I'm in this mood. I'm Thanks. not busting your balls. We're just trying to make Season, this shit better. All right. What? We're trying to make this shit better, KB. We're trying to. Keep going. We're working on improvements over here on the breakdown side of the uh, the screen, and somebody's not having it. <laughs> Is that what it comes down no. to? No, wow, really? Somebody's not having it. Not having it. She's not with the team meeting. Anyways, season four, episode eleven. We hear democracy Thursday, rules. Thursday. This is Tone of My Voice. I'm KB without a 23, apparently. Oh, shots fired. Like fire. Bang, bang, bang. Like, how? Early. How? Bang. A little early. Because I was saying everywhere. I just got reminded again how many times a day. Two, you three. Hear me. Hello, everyone. My name is Mikey Dab, the camp out. Uh, yes. <laughs> I don't know why he always has his accent on his nervous, <laughs> but. Chilling? I'm, You're a nice I'm big fingerprint, right? It's from my fucking hat. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, your hat has fingerprints hat, enough. Hat goes back down. Um, Yeah, so if you guys weren't aware, there was an Instagram. Incident at Urban Necessities when I went there. Shout out Urban Necessities. JC, you what up, JC, what up, bro? Uh, store looks dope. Chilling. I went to the wall right next to Tone's name. I put the camp out. Then I put at KB1ACK and completely forgot oh, the 23. Forgot. Forgot the 23. So whoever is uh, K Black on Instagram, shout out to you. Your Word. name is on the wall. As long as you got a one in there, you're good to go. Uh, if you happen to go to UN and you want to throw a 23 next to KB's name, on you, you can snap us and let us know. We'll be uh, posted. It's right in the area with all the breakdown stuff on the upper right hand corner. I put it on both sticker, sides. Put a sticker of the two of them on it. Just That's what we had the we meeting for. Meeting, <laughs> we're, we're missing somebody Tone on the sticker. Tone cares. Tone cares. Tone don't care. Uh, no, no, let's not get it confused. Uh, you want to kick this week off? You want you uh, shout outs to anybody early on? Any spe special thanks to Milton, the flavors. Uh, Young Sasson. Didn't come through this week for me. Had to do it all myself. Word. Thank you very much. I but shout out anyway. Back. Take it back. I, I appreciate you for attempting. Mm. I'm gonna call you right now. What? <laughs> Yo, Melvin, pick up, kid. You wildin'. I don't know what's going on. Over He's there. missing. <laughs> Are you good? He's missing. Come well, on. Let's kid. kick this bitch off. So, let's 315. Uh, we'll start off with Nike LeBron 16 low in this. Mm. Was that leather? <laughs> <in the box? laughs> you didn't get it on your phone? Black uh, and gold. Black and yeah, gold. You wanna hold it? No, you start it. singing over here. Hmm. I'm good. You good? Mm -hmm. I can see from here. I have my glasses. I want to hear her say, like, turn it to the left a little bit so I can see better. Um, it, it black, uh, a little bit of tan, whatever it is on the back there. It looks like a nice wallet uh, deep Ross, deboss logo in the back. Uh, I'm not really feeling it, but it's whatever. It's for bowling. That's it. Or whatever. Uh, oh, Nike React Element 55 in this black, gold, and mm. bronze colorway. A little bit of silver. It's like all three medals in one. Kind of nice. That's all right. It's clean. Mm. Can is it see through or no? That's not I, no, it's a 55. No, it looks oh, like the real shoe, gotta. Gotcha. Uh, Nike Air Max 95 and this looks like patent leather, hot lava, red esque, black, not infrared. A uh, I'm not liking the contrast on this. Mm -hmm. I got something for afterthoughts. You got something for afterthoughts? Yeah, I just thought of it. Gotcha. Bring it up now. Uh, Nike Air Vapor Max 2.0 really Savorsky. <laughs> 500. It has to do with and Supreme and how it's $500. 500 dollar. $500 dollar. You guys never saw that? Yo, five <laughs> of course. You know, yeah, but you, I still, if you know, you know. 
I still can't believe it's 500 for vapor maps. I mean, I mean that's kind of wild. Wasn't the wasn't the, the 97 only yeah, 350? Yeah, like 300. The 97's right? 300, 350. KB, what was the price? How much you paid? 450. For what? Tavarsky, they were they were 350, and then they went up. I the 450. Yeah. Or, but 500 for this bitch is wild. Like that's they're not even gonna stay <clears> on there. <throat> uh, next up. Uh, Air Jordan 6. Ali, uh, Alayli. I always forget. Uh, Alayli. Uh, Aime. Her name is Aime. <laughs> A-M. 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 We'll just go A-M. Air, Ma- Air Jordan 6. This is fine. The colorway is... You like it? I don't like it too I much. like these. I like the pink. I don't They're like They're women, the women size and only. I mean, so, honestly, I'm not I'm not I'm mad not at it. I'm with the red. I'm not, I'm not mad at it. The white? I would... I nah, would, this is cool. I don't like that. Red. I like them. Hmm. What do you think, like a white missile? My hope? Yeah, if it was all what there. I like the pink on top, but I don't like that red, infrared. Is that infrared? Hit. I don't know if that's red. I, in I some photos, like it looks like a nice red. I think red, that to but me is. That's what ruins it. Shit, there's a better red like than the, the infrared. Pink. That the drop on the, the, la- the last infrared, yeah. not, the la- not, the, not the one that just passed. Yeah, the, I don't the one that just passed was good. Yeah, you like the, it? the one that just passed is great. I didn't like the materials on top. Oh, I mean, the color of the infrared was good, but I'm saying like the upper materials, post new. Yeah, book. but you know. Mm. I know, that's. I'm over that already. That's fucked up. It's to be expected. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? That sucks. Uh, so. Next up, we got Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Phantom Fire. It reminds me of AJ KO's. Fire, though. Yeah, Bring back the KO's. I always wanted to You like the KO? Yeah. I do not like the KO. They're hard to keep clean, but it has a different look. Yeah, but this is this is I shot these. This is in my picture. I shot these yesterday. Fire, yeah. like in person, very very clean. The materials like bullshit. Neoprene on the collar, kind of. I mean, yeah, it's to be expected. Like I don't mention quality when it comes to Nike because it's to be expected. Like you're not getting premium Swedes and premium New Bucks. Like, yeah, you're not getting, getting honest opinions from synthetic. A lot of so it's <laughs> more or less, yeah. Facts. Right. It is what it is. Uh, next up, you got Frog Skateboards and Nike Blazer, which is actually kind of fire. I'm not mad at this at all. Mm. <laughs> not for me, but not yeah, me. I see. I see what you're saying. It's different. It's I mean, it's, it's, it's a nice little twist on it. Yeah. I, I remember Kurobi back when I was a kid. Like I, I used to love Kurobi. What? I had all the Kuro- all my friends because I went to school. So you don't like these? What? No, but I have made Kurobi erasers, pencils. I had the pen box. Interesting. You like Kurobi? I don't even know what the fuck that is. I was what speaking. Is I was speaking to my, my Asian girlfriends when I was younger. So well, I went like, to school with Asian too. All the Asian the girls right. that I used to chill with had like these Kurobi like. Everything. Barrages of stuff. <laughs> and my favorite was the Kurobi rubber pencil. So it was this a pencil so and it was good. rubber and you could bend the whole shit and, try, and it was a fucking pencil. It was fire. Anyway, school, they always had the best technology. I went to I uh, Cardozo on Bayside. What school you went to? I was talking about grammar school. All right. I went to Christ the King. Where'd you go? Hence why I passed the. Uh, uh, Grady in, Bro- in uh, Brooklyn. It was full of West Indian people. Oh. No Asians. Oxtail? No. Was, well, grammar school, I went to school with a lot of Asians. That was a lot of issues. Anyway, this is not about no, shoes. No, uh, no, next up, we got no. Nike Air Max 90 I'm Mars Landing. Um, I'm trying to cop. Just because they're 3M. Yeah, I... They're not like... The first ones are better. I, I, I honestly... I didn't like the moon landings when they dropped either. It's only because I'm not really big on 90s. But they're going to be cute. It's got to be fire for me to like a 90. But why they got to use this bullshit 90 ultra model type shit? I understand well, they, they can't they have put to the whole 3M because of the whole design, mm-hmm. but... They could have done something with just like regular materials too. Why? Wait, Why? I don't think they would have achieved up. the same. It's thing. probably cheaper to do this one fucking print on just one up, one piece upper anyway. Yeah, I mean theoretically, yeah, but at the same time, like it's not gonna look right with others. She's not gonna be comfortable with that whole three oh, upper. Oh fuck no! Fuck these. Uh, next up, we got Adidas Yeezus <laughs> Yeezus Adidas Yeezy three fifty Boost V two. Those are nice. Um, that's the name of it. T R F R M. True form, maybe. Oh, it's true form. T R F R M. I don't know. And then hyperspace. And then, and then, and then hyperspace. Then. And I don't see the other one on here. The last. Where's number three? The third one. The so I went to sneaker news for most of these, except for the bottom half, which you'll this notice. Impression day. Uh, you did about four different impressions already <laughs> today. What was the last one? You just did friggin' <laughs> True Farms. <laughs> what? Well, what was it? Right, it'd be. Why would I wear these hot? Uh, if it wasn't Jamaican. Uh, That's Sam- right, sir. Samson Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Wait, can you do the Michael Jackson voice from when he wow. was in the Simpsons you, episode? Can you do the Michael Jackson I voice? I don't even know. I, I don't know if I've ever done that. What do you say with the Michael Jackson voice? That's a very, Come here, little boy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Chill. Everybody's seen the special. It is what it is. Um, <laughs> I didn't see that. I don't even know what's going on. I'm trying, I'm trying. You didn't see the special? No, I, I think I don't keep up with rock. rock culture. Bro, he... Yes. Do you go over the news? Do you read the news? Do you read Hell the news? No. Or do you, you watch the news? It? Hell no. Only the weather, that's it. 
Wow. I mean, I understand why I don't you don't want can to. We can, can, can we finish this? Can we, can we finish this, please? Please. Yeah. <laughs> the world is too big. So yeah. I only have two of the Yeezys on here. Uh, the true form is, eh, it's whatever. I'm not. That one's the best one. It, it's Beluga, just vision differently. Uh, pass, pass, pass. Hyperspace, it says to me, vision differently. Uh, it's whatever. I don't um, care they only make 20 pairs. These says it's trash. We're going to move along to Milton the Flavors for this post. Young it Sasso. is uh, Adidas Originals and Atmos Tokyo for Can't the 16th. It. It. it looks like K-Swiss. Uh, yeah, it does kind of look like K-Swiss. It has a feel to it, too. This is a nice, this is a nice pair. I don't know if I like that tongue, though. Look how far that tongue goes up. And that's, how they, that's how they all are. Well, like, you're not going to wear it like that. That's he's his wearing, style. He's wearing baggy socks, though. That's, that's his problem. But, yo, the shoe <laughs> is fire. Shoes dope. Shoes are. Huh? That's what we're here for. Shoes. I have something else it? to say too. We what? should ask the fans if they want to see us go shoot a vlog once a month. With, uh, they're gonna say yes. With, I don't think that's a big deal. Yeah, that's. No. Tone, tone got wanna. Next up, we got from Death to Foam. Yo, Shout out Death to Foam on this fire. one. Uh, we got uh, again Atmos and New Balance 997H is uh, wow. they ha he has a release date for the 16th, so I threw it in the breakdown for this week. Uh, fire! I'm not mad at this whatsoever. Crazy! I hate that fucking midsole. Bro. Word, that's what I'm saying. That shit is cheap and disgusting. I held the 997H. That shit's light as fuck. Because they want to make it cheaper shoe. Exactly, but I understand the reason doing it. But 997. Oh, we we back we here. We back. We here. Oh shit, word. Word. We're back here stealing shit again. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start saying chilling. Mm -hmm. Say it right there. You better, you better ease up, Chief. Oh, you better say you better it right. ease up. I'm not out here stealing shit. Chill you know it. Oh, I say it different than that. No, chill it. Chill it belongs to KB. I'm not out here saying. Mike says chill it. I say chill. I say different. Say how you say it. Oh. It depends what, what the mood is. The don't, chill don't, is very no, descriptive. No, Michael, it's don't, very descriptive. Because he'll cut it out of the show like he did last time we had this chilling conversation. So first of all, it, it wasn't yours. I got it from Leave whoa, You Leaking. Whoa, that's first whoa. and foremost. Time out. Leave You Leaking. Yo, I, that's where I got ask it from. Him, ask him who's part of that chilling crew. This is like a four year ongoing four thing. Four right years? Now. No, no, more than that. How long have like, been playing I've been saying chilling since I'm 12. I've never heard you say it until I started using it. Where's Leave You Leaking from? Who's cool? It doesn't matter. Shout out 429. Shout out to Chillin. That's my new. Uh, Shout out to using Chillin to describe multiple moves and multiple platforms of whatever you're doing. So I'll be like, yo, well, what are you doing? Chillin. 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 It depends. If I'm in a really good mood, yo, yeah, but yo, I show is Chillin. Like, it, it depends. It chillin. depends. There's, there's, there's a multitude of uses for Chillin. It's not multitude. just. I know, but, you know. Uh, well, it's fine. Yeah. Um, okay. We're going to go back to the other show. I hope this shit don't get now cut out. Now we're going to fight about this. After the, better stay zone. After the 997H. <laughs> We have. Oh, we going back to the show. We got to finish the show up. We have okay. also back to the melt and the flavors. Umbro, uh, Neptuno, Runner M, and Expert Max. It's two different shoes. Uh, uh, they dropped three nineteen. It isn't this weekend. It drops, I think, Tuesday of next week. But I, I thought they were kind of dope and clean. And I pulled it from his Instagram. So uh, a little bit bulkier on the midsole. It's that yellow and black one. Yellow and black yeah. and white. Yeah, we're looking. Yeah. We're looking. I just want to make sure it. we're in the same place. All right. <laughs> it's different. 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 Yo, I'm chilling. The angry chilling. I'm chilling. Um, <laughs> The That's white pair's kind of fire too. I, I like it. It's That's a little bit bulkier. This week. I definitely like the black and yellow a little bit better. Not chilling. Silhouette looks nice. The material no. looks kind of clean. I don't like it. I like these better. What? The white pair? The Puma. Okay, and then, uh, so the Puma dropped today, as a matter of fact. This is so we're moving into afterthoughts. This is just Let's afterthoughts. Let's do it. So Let's do it. Yeah, drop. Yeah, it's a do nice the color. Arches. Do the arches, bro. It's up to you, Chief. Oh, we're not doing a Puma? Not, well, that's we going to be afterthoughts. Because if you see the date, it's the 14th. They dropped today. I'm going to hit KB. Okay, ready? ready? Chilling, right? That's how it is? Oh, no, let's do afterthoughts. I got it. <laughs> afterthoughts. Yo, yo, you, you fucking with the, the airway. Relax. It's heavy duty traffic. Air, air, air traffic controller. Could you step out of the Ready? Place? Clear me for takeoff? Yeah. I just fucking. Clear. All right. Afterthoughts. Right. Chilling. All right. Anyway, we're here. So today, uh, Puma dropped. Shout out Ambus Fur, uh, even though he didn't send this to me. This is both in the flavors, but he's big on the Puma, and he's actually got me transitioning to looking at more Puma with a, I guess, a wider eye instead of being so Those selective with nice, other stuff. Though. But I this is a clean really colorway. Well. I like that it says MTV. Actually, I would wear them. That's so like, MTV like Europe. Shit. Uh, what is it? I think it's MTV, yeah, MTV UK and Puma Sport Lifestyle or Puma Sport Style uh, dropped these today. Kind of clean, kind of mm -hmm. fire. I like has uh, it has that OG mesh on the toe box. <clears throat> Clean. I, I really like that the Puma logo isn't Atrusive. abrupt. You know, like it, it's clean. It works with the silhouette. Uh, it's very nice. I, I like, like it. Those. I like it a lot. I like the MTV logo. Come in GS? Yeah. I'm happy it doesn't say MTV UK. No offense to the UK people, but MTV like it's the the regular M and the TV is just iconic. Mm. That's good to go. I fuck with MTV. 
Uh, what do you guys think about Air Max Day being canceled? Who gives a fuck? I don't think it's canceled. I feel like they're gonna keep putting crazy oh, shit yeah, out yeah. every year. Like, yeah, but uh, but an event is nice though. But the okay, they so was it really? Last year, Seeker Con, <coughs> Seeker Con, that was that was all right. It wasn't the best, but. I like the museum Remember? shit. I like the installations. I like learning what about some of this shit, but they're going to keep repeating the same shit every time. Air Max Con. That's yeah. what it was called. Yeah, Air Max. Okay. Yeah, Air Max Con. So, so, so I think that they do too much at one time. Instead uh, of it being Air Max everything, they should do a model each year, uh, specific, and give you the history of it and do the background of it and show the archive of it, and that would be a dope Air Max installation, and you can do that for 12 years straight. Or keep Easy. doing the, the vote back Air Max shit. People love that shit. It's very interactive, and people want to, you know, have a retro of one of the old grills. Yes, shit. yes, yes. Right. I think right. that That's shit is dope. Idea. Bring that shit back. That shit was fire. My problem is, I, I think that Nike just overshoots too much it too just fast. just does too much. Yeah. Like, if, if they were to pull it back, like, say the first, the, the one Save that Save some shit for later. Yes, exactly, exactly. Like, if they were to do a model a year, or even, like, two from, like, a deck, or whatever the fuck they want to do, they can do two. There's uh, Air Max 1, uh, Air Max Lite. Uh, I mean, I know they're not all as popular, but you can do a shitty one with a good one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And mix it in together so you can get some exposure on the one that maybe that wasn't so predominant. It, it, it's all about the marketing, and, like, they're, yeah, they're so good at and it. And the swoosh is everywhere, so I'm pretty sure you guys could sell pretty much any silhouette at when this point. Shoe drop. Oh, so so like I haven't heard anything about the the seven winners either. Like, they haven't been doing a lot of promo for they all were, of the winners. They were doing a lot. I had a conversation with someone who's going to remain nameless, and he was very inquisitive about what was going on since they pulled back and haven't dropped any release dates on yeah. any of these shoes. When I they it was were, for Air Max Day. Exactly, that's what the whole thing was for. But okay, so also Sean Weatherspoon. I don't know if you guys have noticed. He's a sample. He's a sample. He he hasn't been posting Nikes at all. Do you know what his favorite shoe right now is? What? Uh, a yellow colored gel kite, uh, no, uh, gel blur, gel blur, no, it's the, uh, the Kiko that I was wearing. Maybe they're holding it for next year? I, but this is, this is more underlying shit, so like, Sean something, ha something happened. was mentoring, I know <clears throat> Gabby and a couple other people that won that at headquarters in Portland, all of a sudden there's no Nike talk on his shit whatsoever, mm -hmm. and he's promoting other brands. I don't know how or what, what happened. Was he, was he putting out the samples, didn't there, he? There, there's a lot of things missing right now. There, there's that, like... It, this oh, is, if, you this know, is, if you know the tea, put it in the comments. Yeah, well, I'm going to get some of the tea. Don't worry about that. But I don't have it yet. I'm working on getting it. And it, it's some of, something isn't making sense. Something's not lining up. So there's no more promotion on the shoes. There's no, hey, it's going to be this day. Hey, it's going to be But I thought Gabby knew when her shoe was going to come out. Didn't she say? I, 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 I haven't had any conversations about it as of late. It all comes out to Nike. Exactly. That there were shipping issues. Like, they're not dropping it. The, and Nike. shipping issues always means that there's something going on. That always means something's Late. going on. Just to watch the signs. Yeah. Watch the signs. You got to read between the lines on that shit. But I think it's kind of fucked up that they're not doing anything. We'll anyway, see what um, we're gonna move on to. Shout out to Gabby though. Yeah. She's following Queen Leo on IG. I'll throw the La Mescala ninety eight fire shit. Good job. I was excited for that. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, next up, I, I caught an episode of Full Size Run. Uh, shout out to what is it? The, what? The real polos and jays is is that his IG handle? Yes. So the real po shout out the real polos and jays. JPs. This is JPs. Uh, he put something up in his story and it was them interviewing JC, which made me go watch the whole thing. And I actually didn't like how they interacted with JC on the show. Now I realize you got to dig a little bit of dirt on people and you got to do some things, but I also don't like the way that they. The, the undertones that they were throwing in. He handled it like a, like a fucking champ, like, like, like a pro, uh, the way that they were interacting. So the, the first thing they brought up was, like I said before, the sneaker, sneaker shopping. shopping. And he's had a couple of, like, he shoots a show and he's, like, obviously he has a store, like, why not film it? It's content. Uh, shit. And he had people shopping <clears throat> and it was like sneaker shopping and they asked him, like, how could you do that? Uh, based on the fact that we have a show called Sneaker Shopping. Like, I mean, I don't, don't know you think... own an idea. But... Yeah, but like, even still, like, to, the, the way that it was approached was rude. And it was on the, like, during an interview, like, you didn't warn yeah. the person first? Like, yeah. hey, I hit you with some questions? I was like a setup. Yeah. Or... yeah, yeah, yeah. They didn't I... approve none of these questions before, and I think I would have wanted, like, the question before. But he before probably thought and, it like, would be friendly. I'm going to go on your show, you're going to make me look like some kind of, like... I like I like, I like to free ball it when I'm, when I'm doing interviews. Yeah. I like it to feel more organic, but at the same time, like, I also... I would want you to fucking be able to come back. Like, if I don't know you well enough to have that kind of rapport, like, then I'd let you know what the conversation was yeah. going to be. So that way, like, you know, like, I'm not trying to get at you. But I, I thought it was kind of fucked up. Plus, uh, they're using things like drip. Um, 
the two other dudes, like obviously Trinidad James, I'll let you rock on that, but like that that's not something they've ever said before. Like I I don't know, I, I feel like they, they there's a lot of weird shit going on with a that. A little shrimp shrimp going on. Yeah, a little little swindle. Anyway. They need more authentic people on yeah, the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it, what we're aiming at. Like, yeah, I, I really think, I'd rather see somebody from the culture talking about shit about the culture. Don't give me no offense to anybody that's going to take offense to this shit. Don't give me a guy that just came out of college from whatever state that's not from the culture. No offense. <laughs> and you're going to tell me what I'm going to like or what to buy or what's cool, what's not. We influence you guys. Remember that. We here. Tone of my voice, oh, K no Black. <laughs> I can't about. So much. Um, I don't realistically, like the the, the the biggest issue that I have with that kind of platform and who they use on the platform is sometimes it's it's not as organic as it should be, um, and it comes off a little hostile towards the people that are actually in the maybe, culture. Like shit shifts, like culture shifts, trends shift, everything shifts, and if you're not able to roll with it, maybe you shouldn't be involved in it. You know what I'm saying? Like you you can. Disapprove of some things, but you have to be accepting as well. Everyone's a hater. Eh, Whatever. We're going to move along to viewer comments that made it into the after. Shout out to uh, Soul Street and it's Racks. They got a a good shit going on in Complex. That's the fire. Racks is is in a class. I always like Racks. That's Soul Street. Shout out Dre. Um, Dre's funny though. (laughs) Move along to where are we? We're going to go Molly Mall, which made it into the topics for Afterthoughts. Uh, Three hours ago, Tone is the coolest was the hashtag. Thoughts on Goat's Warehouse Robbery. That's it, Do you believe this is something more common than not? He's got an inside job. So if you guys Uh aren't aware, uh, one of the Goat's. Okay, but you got this? I was gonna say, no, I was going to say, who knows that it's a warehouse? Somebody inside. It has to be inside job. Yeah, uh, no, I'm, I'm just going to say, uh, there was a post that earlier this week they caught the dude that robbed Goat's receiving warehouse for all the shoes. They supposedly got them for like 50 grand worth of stuff, but I mean, if you're smart, you threw the insurance up a little bit higher, um, which is probably what they did, because to find $50,000 worth of sneakers in a short amount of time of robbing a warehouse is kind of crazy. But yeah, they caught the dude, but their posts were going up like, hey, I stabbed stuff going to goat, is it there? Like, what, what's missing? But oh, that's kind of crazy. Like, obviously, like, somebody knew... Something. Something. Like, <laughs> well, I, I read the article on it. Um, oh, I didn't read it, guys. Go. There, it was pretty much it was an inside job. It was an employee that robbed the joint. Obviously. And he you did it. It was, it was all on record, like on the, the case. That, that, Wait, um, he does watch news and know about stuff. Oh, mm-hmm. it was, was it no, the weather? Not like, up? not like crazy. Were you news. checking the weather? That oh, shit just yeah. showed up on my Instagram. Uh, oh, if we, so if it goes on Instagram, <laughs> it makes it tone. Tone might know about I it. I might know about it. So then, like, it was an inside job. So it pretty yeah. much just one guy doing this shit. And he did it, like, every different occasions but they finally caught him oh he did it like more yeah and like, they never caught him on those separate occasions but it was like a total but they they caught him inside the warehouse that's Should've what the story said while you were ahead, on the right? article that they they trapped them inside the warehouse like they caught him in the process this time so that's what went Man, down but like so crazy though so i i mean this is like an ongoing issue with stock x and goat where like the last time they had people getting fake sent to them when the real shoe went there and the employees were swapping the pairs out and then making the money on it. Like, I feel like they, if they're going to continue growing, they need a better vetting process. And that comes down to what you're paying your employees. Like if you have shit pay, you're going to get shit employees. Like I'm, that's just what it, cause what it comes down to. If, if I'm happy with the amount of money that I'm making, I have no need to do shady shit. But if I'm not happy and you're treating me like shit, like obviously bad shit's going to happen. What if the pay is good, but they're just being greedy? I mean, that's a whole nother story. But and they see, like, the opportunity that they have, like, oh, we could probably... I, I'm not going to lie to you, like, no matter where you are or who you work with, like, everybody is privy to knowing something about somebody else they work with. And if you're happy with your job, you only got a snitch on the nigga, but you could you could definitely be like, yo, dog, cut that shit out. Like, real talk, like, I'm not trying to fuck my job up and you're putting my shit in jeopardy. Facts. Like, you don't got to snitch him out, but you can be real with the, with the person that's doing the shady shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, whatever. Next the up, we're going to go to... Crazy. Uh, We'll go to T. Travis one day ago, which is also part of the Afterthoughts. Hashtag Tone is the coolest. You forgot edit it. Oh, fuck you. Uh, a mic for the win. We don't have to talk about that. Uh, reissues, whatever. I miss minimal branding kit. I wish we could get some original Williams hoodies. Do you think that Ronnie has oversaturated by pursuing his personal collabs, Coke, Versace, Vogue, etc.? I'd like the uh, I'd like the Bennett sweats from Spring Drop, but the branding on the leg makes them a pass. See, back in the day, Ronnie didn't care so much about branding, and that's when like I really started to love Kith. That's like, when like there was the like little, little electric logo. bolts on the shorts and like regular plain like the the what, what are they called? Pants? Bleakers, Mercers, Mercer pants, and like those. <coughs> and I was like, damn. But then 
he started putting. Kids. I I feel like Everything. he could still continue doing his high end shit, but still drop pieces they're, they're for you know that. different uh fashion styles. So like you still do the urban streetwear stuff, you can do like a athletic stuff like your. You know, he got like the women uh, yes, sports yes, yes. bra on, like the, the running shorts type shit. And you can do your high end fashion shit because Kiff is known for all of those different categories. Like, he got his ideas on a lot of different shit and, and like props to him. But let's come back to us a little bit. I, I think I think next year we'll see a shift in Kiff a little bit. I, I'm hoping. Um, I don't really have like that much of an inside track, but based on like trends and what I've been seeing a little bit, like it's been getting a little bit smaller and smaller as far as the branding goes. <coughs> I prefer if you know, you know, kind of branding Boy. shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like if I'm if I'm wearing something and I I fuck with it, I like that people don't know what it is. And if they do, the you get the little head nod or whatever. Yeah. Not like I need your approval, but I just appreciate that a little bit more than being like yes. I'm wearing this shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? This shirt's a little bit different, promoting JC, whatever, but I, I like the yeah. minimal branding, LaGuardia t shirts. If he did that in every color across the spectrum, I'd buy every single one. Like, Fire. I just like Fire. that t shirt. Fire, yeah. That's something I prefer. It and doesn't need to say Kith across the whole fucking front. And that's what happened with like the William hoodies. Like, yes. whenever he drops them yeah. for like every now and then, with just like, the Kith box logo, that shit sells out. And the people really searching for that the shit. The Williams like, hoodies don't even have that. They have it embroidered in the same color as the hoodie. You can't yeah. even see that. It's, it's like hidden in the shit. Yeah. It's can't the monochromatic shit. It. Yeah, it's like not. Five. And when That's he did the, the when want. he did the kit, the first uh, kit off white collabo, like that, that whole shit was embroidered. The off white in the back. Yes. There was minimal kit logo on that. It just had the yeah, kit embroidered it on the front. Side, yeah. That shit was fire. Uh, you want to take JQ? We're gonna move along to uh, viewer <clears throat> comments. I think they're sick of hearing Mike talk. JQ. <laughs> Tone's the coolest. I know. Thank you. Question. Besides the drop front boxes, how do you store your sneakers? Do you use shoe trees and other types of inserts? I've seen some people use towels to wrap their shoes or place them in plastic bags. I'd like to see... I'd like to do something to keep a good shape on mine. Um, I don't really stuff my shoes too much. Sometimes I put the paper in if this shape is a little funky. But <coughs> I really. do. Money, listen, money's worth and best on Amazon makes a shoe tree with a wider front. I don't like the Ikea ones that are 99 cents that most people buy because it's super narrow and it'll, yeah. it'll actually fuck, fuck the, shape the shape of your shoe. So I, I like the money's worth and best. I don't have a tag for it. I should probably well, do that. I want to get those. But they, 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 they um, I think it's like $4 for four of them or like $6 cool. for four of them. Fantastic. As a nice spring coil, it holds a good shape. It gives you a good arch. It only go, they're only good for like up to like a size 11, maybe 11 and a half. Uh, once you get to 12, it kind of just stretches the whole shit out. It doesn't work as well, but it's fantastic. That, that's one of my favorite things to use in almost all of my shoes, especially runners. I don't use any shoe trees. I just keep whatever uh, generic inserts or stuffings that it comes with. Shit, not that serious. Well, not for me. You no, know, do what you gotta do. If y'all want to shoot trees, then do what you gotta do. For longevity, you want to not keep the paper inside your shoe. Just throwing it out there. Okay, next. What's next? Joseph Gomez. Joseph Gomez. Five days ago. Hashtag tones the coolest. Hashtag beer guard. Will the influx of resale stores force the market prices down similar to Walmart and Kmart battles? Oh, Kmart, KB, what up? Or will it skyrocket as sellers raise prices due to lower commission to stay competitive? That's a very good question. Uh, the UN consignment is what, 10%? It's cheaper than all the other consignment shops. So right there is somewhat of an answer to your that, question. That 10% consignment is going to drive out the 90% of uh, the competition, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, so it's better, you, you get more money back uh, for consigning with UN, which is fantastic for you. Uh, that's one positive thing. And he actually mentions that in his, uh, in his interview. But outside of that, Stadium Goods and Flight Club are, one was one used to be part owner and now, so like they have competitive pricing, but not really, because it's kind of like going to the same fucking thing. So the, you're, you're losing on that end, but as long as a different company is involved, you're, you're gonna see an influx in price somewhere, like GOAT and StockX. It's the same thing also, like they, they're, they're, they're competing with each other. That's why uh, a somewhat smaller brand like UN can come in and be like, oh fuck that, like I'm not worried about making Sixty thousand dollars on a shoe. I'd rather make the thirty on four of them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And what? make it and make it that way. It's the same fucking thing. And obviously, I have a cheaper price, so I'm getting more customers. I'm getting better anyway. I'm getting more customers. So and probably better customer service too. 
So just I, d I definitely like the fact that even even going into even though it's a new store and obviously it's going to be on top of itself when you first open up, but even all the employees that were inside UN were mad chill. They were mad cool. Like everybody was like personable. Like even if you were just looking at shit, like if you need to tell them I got you, I'm right here. It wasn't like one of those situations where you walk in and like whatever. Like Flight Club's a little stuck up. Stadium Goods is actually pretty good too, but Flight Club's definitely stuck up when it comes to that shit. Like if you're not immediately asking for something, they just disregard you. So. I mean, customer service is key too. Two. Also at uh, round well, round, yeah, I don't know. At the UN, they have the the QR uh, sticker Re yeah. tag, so you can just scan the shit yourself and see what sizes are available and the pricing. So you don't really got to deal with uh, person to person yeah, interaction yeah. if you want to bother people or don't have people bothering you type shit. So it's yeah. pretty dope at the UN. Go check it out. Uh, next up, we got Am you, you think that he's sponsoring the show today? <laughs> I just really like the dude. He's a cool guy, man. Um, next up, we got Amps. You want to take this one? Five days ago. Amos for Don't the coolest. Hey. Should Nike release a shoe with no promo pictures and any type of announcement, just a random drop in stores, no online releases? Yeah, they do that for like Air Force Ones. They, they drop them like every... I mean... I mean, but I, I feel like he's talking about something that's like really dope. Yeah, something fire. I don't know. Like, like something fire, like just put a Travis Scott inside stores and don't say anything. Like, would that, would a, a cause, that would be dope. That would cause pandemonium. If most people get a whiff of it, like the employees are like, yo, like... They just dropped the shit on my store. Like it's just never gonna go unnoticed. With the, the day and age of technology, everything gets thrown out there so quick and so fast. I know, None true. of this shit would ever cut. What really happened right now? But right. if done correctly, it could work very well. Like instead of doing it at stores that already get all of that mainstream hype and releases, going to like stores that aren't in the immediate area and doing that and getting customer service or customers to drive to those locations and do things there, you're not only getting that store involved, but you're also getting the people in that neighborhood involved. Even if they're making money on the show, it doesn't make a difference, like, mm -hmm. it, it, regardless of that, but like getting other stores involved outside of the usual stores is a smart thing to do. Even, not even just in New York, I'm talking in other states too, like, people get fucked all across the country because they don't have mainstream stores to go to. So if they were to do that with smaller stores, in different areas <clears throat> and driving people to go to those stores, like I think that would help all around. That would be a smart move. Like no hype, no nothing. It's a Wednesday. I know it dropped last Saturday, but here they are on our shelf. Like good to go. Word. Like I like what they did with that store down south when they dropped the Royal Satin Ones. Yeah. And they dropped it like at the store that had like the first ever Jordan account. Mm -hmm. I think that shit was fantastic. That shit was phenomenal. It was a small city that a lot of people don't know about. Yeah. I didn't even know the history of that store because I surely didn't. So I think that shit was fire. Like it goes right back to what you were saying, going to a different city, smaller store, and like like taking real advantage of like, you know, like doing all the promo, the marketing, and like bring something dope to a different area. Yeah, I I, I, I really think it. that they, they need. I'm like I, as much as I, I hate to see stuff not be available here. Like I like the fact that other states are available to cop dope shit yeah. too. Like I, I think that you should spread the love out. You know what I'm saying? Instead of giving 300 pairs to one store, give them 100 and disperse the rest everywhere else. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like. It's whatever. Okay, next up we got Zach S five days ago edited. There you go, you happy? Uh, we'd love to hear all three of you guys' thoughts on this. What are some of the sneaker models slash silhouettes do you feel have been sold short? Models that you feel have a lot of potential which have not been fully utilized by their respective brands. Newer models or older models. Would you would love to hear your thoughts either way? Hashtag yerd. Yerd? Yerd. 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 That's the one. That's the one. Um Hmm, that's a good question. I feel Odyssey. Like all over utilize their, their good models. Nike Odyssey is probably one of my my. Uh... Nike's marketing is unmatched to anybody at this point, so they don't really have a problem like that. Yeah, they do. They do. You think so? They definitely have models that are like like the Odyssey. I, I think the Odyssey is a dope fucking runner shoe. So they didn't drop a thousand colorways and expect this shit to sell out. They were smart about it, like how much they could sell. So I think. They knew what they had with the Odyssey and just dropped whatever it was, and that was. It. Are you fucking listening to what I'm to saying the to you? Question? You listen to what I'm saying? <laughs> no. <coughs> I think that's one of the silhouettes that they could have gotten more out of had they put a little bit more into it. They yeah. dropped one shoe in UK, and I mean it didn't sell out originally because they only did the one shoe and there was no hype behind it. But like if they would have put a little traction behind the shoe, it would have done better, I believe. And it's for whatever. That's a personal favorite of mine. I think that was a nice shoe. A lot of people bought them. I mean, Asics, a, a lot of Asics has a lot of models that they don't put a lot of money behind. Yeah, that Asics, are really dope. Asics marketing is. They I need know, to I get wish up I there. had a Jelly Three. They they need more visibility. I don't like, even I, like the shape of the new Jelly Threes though. Like not even. That. And I like Asics logo, the, the nicest. The, it's the logo on, on the sneakers. It nice. just works with the shoe. Yeah. yeah, it's it's almost like the Puma, but better. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Anyway, I think okay. that. Oh, sneaker battle! Sneaker battle! Sneaker battle! 
Who went first? Yeah. The winner. I hate when you do this. Come on, let's really go. I, got, I, I, just, I have a job. Let's go. You're not the only one. I know, but I gotta go to it. What's your job? Dance school. I have a job to do. I'm gonna swing out a bowl. <laughs> it's a joke. I don't, I don't do that. Just watch the microphone, please. Hey, but, well, I, might, what is it, but I get to do this. Tone of my voice. Can't see. It's behind tone. Gold 97s. It's just fire. Oh, oh, I didn't realize you were in them. No white laces. No gang gang. No gang gang. No. Vote for Tone. Are, are you done? Make you it happen. Right. Who, who, who you go, you go, you go, you go. You go. Oh, I beat you by 1%? Yes, you did. Damn, that 1% matter. I mean, realistically, guys. 2012. 13. Matter. I don't want to be in it. Um, yeah. See, this is why I don't want to be in it, because my whole face is in it. Well. 2012 Lady Liberty Air Max 1. Lady, Lady Liberty? Uh, they're females. I, I thought it was uh, Liberty of London. Oh. Well, that's probably the print, yeah. It's Liberty yeah. of London, I don't yeah. know. Whatever. They're from 2012. Shout out to Yacht Pay. Shout out to Showroom for the jacket. I appreciate you. You done? Yeah. I just went with the uh, good old New Balance this week. Little concepts. Great laces, I see you. What, what were these called? Luxury? No, not luxury. No. That, was, that was the orange pair. Those are the Tyrian? Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. Tyrian purple. Hmm. Tyrian. Hmm. Tyrian. Tyrian. Tyrian? You're just going to fuck it up? I'm no. just going to... Whichever way you want to pronounce it. Tyrian, Tywin. Do you watch Game of Thrones? Because it sounds like... He does it. not watch Game he of Thrones. He just said both names. <laughs> he made I don't them. watch that shit. See? That's rude. He that watches reality that. TV. Game of Thrones special on TV. Gonna miss it I heard I, I look like one of those characters. I, a lot of people. You do tell not me look that. like Hal Drogo. See, that's the one that came to your mind. That's exactly the one. Because he has a beard. Yeah. That exactly. He looks like Hal Drogo. You look like Daenerys. Okay, does your body? I don't Damn. know. What? You look like freaking Tyrion. How about that? Well, well played. Huh? <laughs> Four foot one midget. Okay. Um, we're done here. <laughs> Let's get down to the hashtags. Oh, Let's okay. go. Go. What, What's the hashtag this week? Um, chilling. You, who picked the last one? KB picked yeah, we'll it. I'll let you guys have at it. Chillin'! Don't give a oh, fuck. Oh, Khal Drago? Chillin' it is. See, I didn't even have to say who it was and you knew who I was talking about. That, Mike, is it so hard to think about who it was? Would you have not known? You could have not partake. I'm going to leave that alone, too. Uh, anyway, so uh, this week's hashtag will be chillin'. If you want to shout out in next week's not episode, chillin'. like these people are about to get, you want chillin' or not chillin'? What are we doing? Not chillin'. We're, <laughs> we're going to go with hashtag not chillin' in your comment he he's to get shouted out next week. <laughs> I don't like that. these guys, we use hashtag that. tone is the coolest. Starting off, we got Saint, got Soul, Molly Mall, JQ, T, Travis, K222, shit, Raph, Buddy, Walker, Jacob, 89, Shoebox, Fats, Joseph Gomez, Dropping, John Passarella, Drop Pass, what up? Drop DJ it. Frankie Foch, what up? Uh, Showing up, 808, thanks for commenting this week. Even though I really 808, no heartbreak. Hey. Got you thrown off a little bit last week. Uh, King Bentley, Hungry Bee and Bill Collector, Hater Extraordinaire, Al B2, <laughs> Black Thunder, OG Kicks, E Do Set, Boston's uh, Best, uh, Jostin the Great, uh, Tones Giblets, The Gooch, what and uh, <laughs> what, what are we doing? It, it room? It, what it, it's rum. It's, it's no. He he said he it. And said I forgot. It's it toilet boy. It's toilet uh, toilet bowl poop, right? To- toilet bowl poop. He didn't comment this week. No, that's it's, him. Uh, that's him. Same person. Yeah, oh, really? he changed, he changed his, his name. name. Oh man. He didn't like toilet bowl poop. I like the toilet bowl poop. I'm not gonna lie to you. I had a good time saying that every week. And you I, I, get, I get why it's you want to change it though. I understand. I don't. I don't know why. <laughs> Whatever. Um, if you guys want in the comment section, you want to bring up any topics, you want to talk about anything, hit it in the comment section. I do read them all. Just to give you a heads up, usually read them on Wednesday night, so make sure you get them in before Wednesday. Thumbs up are always appreciated. If you're watching the live stream, appreciate everybody that's in here right now. Shout out and to And we're not guys. here for the after after thoughts without KB. Sorry. Are uh, you not going to leave no, this uh, uh, Nope. I'm missing <laughs> even though I But can... this is why you guys can't say anything. You got... Just, it, it's, hey. if you know, you, you guys know. kill the good thing. If you know, you know. So now she has shit to do, she won't even leave. <laughs> I gotta work, but I'm gonna stay until you guys she'll are be, really she'll done. She'll be late to work just so we can't have this little bit of uh, after afterthoughts. You know what I'm saying? Wow. You gotta get out of the no, main cave. We should, we, should, we should do an episode like. When she's at work, when like she's Send me on vacation, you guys can have a whole episode to yourself. The send me on vacation. Both of you can chip in and send me on vacation. That, that's the next go for Sell one of you to <laughs> spoke, go, go. send yourself. Sell my wow. spoke. I wow. want to yeah, send yourself to vacation. Sell a shoe. A joke, bro. Sell a shoe. I can send myself to vacation, thank you. Listen, bro, listen very carefully. Uh, we'll, we'll do a GoFundMe for an after afterthoughts episode sponsored by 
the people. Without KB. No. If they want to send KB on a vacation, so we By can all have means, an send, it to to, send it somewhere. We're going to send you to Russia. All right. I'm not, you, I know you're trying to get, get, get me to get up. Mother there. Russia. Mother Russia. Nine! Uh, and they're just going to sit, just gonna sit there and not even. K Bizzle! Nope. No. Nope. Yeah, whatever, do it anyway. Yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah. What do you want to talk about? Do it while you're here. Who cares? Um, so, so how was the how was the urban necessities thing? Cause it was dope. I really don't Yo. give a fuck. <laughs> Alright, good. How was the urban necessities thing? It was good. It was good. They had a lot of uh, snacks. They had like ice cream. They had uh, ice cream sandwiches, ice cream cones. They had little fish tacos. Oh, cool. It was like micro appetizers. Like, yeah, well, yeah, but it's it like, dope. They had like sushi. It was packed with like thousand people though. Like. And they had like sushi there. Um, they had like beers. Not involved in this. They had wine, champagne, the did, you, like, did you get drunk? No, no, no. Action. Someone told me you were drunk. Oh. oh. I was. Who's, 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 who's there telling me? Oh, they, they had that. Whoever's checking up on me, I appreciate you. Shout out to you. But next time, say what up to me. Uh, they did. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. They, they told me you were drunk. And uh, judge, <laughs> judging by the way you wrote your Instagram handle, eh, that might have confirmed it. No way. Dude. That house tipped on like that. I was like, ah, I, I gotta get this shit bit. Shit's fire, right? Nah, I don't know about like, that. Like, all the stickers up there. Bam, bam, I just bam. seen this. I was, I, was, I was really upset that... You wrinkled it. You didn't put our names down. <laughs> You gonna write your name? I mean, yeah, I got stickers up there. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah I, I could have showed up when the invite went out. I told you I'd work. I wasn't invited. You I, I tried. I, I was. I was intent on going. It's just us. Yeah, I don't know. Who is that voice? You know. hear that voice? Uh, Still it's weird. Weird. Yeah. Ah, it ended itself. Son of a bitch. Well, where were you on Friday? You said he's gonna be in the city. I thought he was gonna no, pull no, up. No, no, I couldn't. I couldn't go. Oh, no, you didn't go. Fucking the product shoot. 